Japan's heart-stopping action and adventures set new technical standards for television at the time. And what a team we had. Sandrakan's enemy, James Brooke, the White Raja of Sarawak, was played by Adolfo Celli, who earlier played the villain in the James Bond film Thunderball. Our art director, Nino Navarese, had won two Oscars, and our director, Sergio Solima, was famous in Italy. We had a multinational cast, French-American Carol Andre, German Hans Kalinimberg, ethnic Malays and Malaysian Tamils, me, the Indian hero, French actor Philippe Leroy, who played Sandokan's Portuguese buddy, Janitz, and the legendary villain, James Brooke, played by the Italian, Adolfo Celli. As I sensed from the beginning, Sandokan could be my passport to a whole new world. And that's what happened. Starting with Italy, Sandokan took Europe by storm. In a few weeks, I'd become a household name. Imagine me in Munich, receiving Germany's most popular award, being greeted like a rock star by thousands of cheering fans, all of whom are hailing their Sandokan hero together. Imagine me in the heart of Madrid, escaping from the Corte Inglese, their biggest department store, running across the tops of cars with hordes of frenzied fans chasing me and girls yelling, I want to have your baby! <laughs>